Mac fans, recently I've come across a couple of things that you cannot do in the GUI with QGIS 3, but you can do them with GDAL. So I thought it would be good to have a quick look at how we can install GDAL on Windows. The first thing you need to find out is do you have GDAL installed already? You may well do. So if you go down to your little Windows button, pop that open and just type in CMD. That will bring up a command prompt and here we can see I'm in user user and to test this I'm just going to type the command gdal translate. If I hit enter there we can see that we have a bunch of different commands that we can give to that gdal translate. Notice that it says it's failed, no source data set was specified but this does tell us that gdal was installed or is installed. If it wasn't installed, it would say something along the lines of GDAL is not a record or GDAL translate is not recognized as an internal or external command. And that means either GDAL is not installed or your paths are not set correctly. But we'll get onto paths a little bit later. So as we can see from this, I do have GDAL installed, which is great, and I can access it through the command prompt. Now, if you don't, you will need to install it. And so the installation, if you go to the QGIS download page, you can install OSGO4W Network Installer for Windows. You can use this to install QGIS, but you can also use this to install additional packages. So we'll navigate to where my OSG4W installer is, and then we will install GDAL from that. So here I am in my C drive and I have this folder called OSGO4W64. That's where I installed the OSGO4W installer. So if I open up this folder, you will see that we've got a bunch of different folders in here. And if I go to the bin and scroll down, I'm looking for OSGO4W setup.exe and I'll double click that and I would like to allow this app to make changes to my device and here it is so I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and you can go for an express desktop install that's going to install QGIS I'm not sure if that installs GDAL or not for the command prompt but what we're going to choose is an advanced install so just note that this isn't going to install QGIS. What this is going to do is allow us to install GDAL for this machine. And I'm going to install from the internet and the root directory. Yes, that's going to be fine. I'm going to allow all users to be able to access what I'm installing. Very good. And yes, that all looks fine. And we've got direct connection and I'm going to choose that. Okay. Here we are, so this is the package selector. I'm just gonna make this a little bigger. And if you run through the package selector, you can see that everything is currently set to default. And if I go into the command line utilities, all of these are set to either keep or skip, depending on what I've got installed already. And if you go to this one, which is GDAL, GDAL, OGL library and command tools. So I can choose to install that and up here we've got a choice of bin or source. I'm just going to select the bin and OK that. And if I click through this, it's going to tell me what's required. And I'm going to agree with the licenses. Da, da, da. Just agree to all of these and then it installs GDAL. Now I've already got GDAL installed, so I'm gonna cancel that and it'll abort. But if you don't have GDAL installed, if you can't access it through your command prompt, that is how you can install it. I also mentioned paths earlier on and the paths are pointers so that Windows can find certain packages or yeah, certain packages that are installed on your computer and sometimes you need to set your paths. So if you've installed GDAL, you're pretty sure that you've installed it, but Windows can't seem to find it, it may be a problem with your paths. So if I hit the Windows key again and just go to the control panel, 
that will open up my control panel and then I can go to system and in the system I'm going to go for advanced and I'm going to go to environment variables. Now what I'm expecting here because I've got GDAL installed and it is working is that my path is going to be set already. So let's have a look at this. If you go down to system variables and variables and path and then hit edit, this will show you where all your paths are. And as you can see there, I've got OS Geo 4W64 bin set. So what that means is that if Windows is looking for GDAL, it's going to look in this particular folder. And GDAL is in there. We can see that I'm already in OS Geo 4W64 and the bin folder. And if we have a look around here, we should be able to see, there we go, we've got all the GDAL gubbins installed there already. So pretty good. Let me know via the comments um, if you are having any problems with GDAL. And if there's any demand, I'll also show you how to install GDAL into a environment. Environments are pretty good in Windows. It means that you can separate any development that you're doing. So you've got a little environment that might have a specific Python install and also specific GDAL or whatever. And that keeps it separate from the rest of your computer. So you don't need to maintain any dependencies or anything like that. So you can install GDAL onto um, environments as well if you'd like to. Just let me know via the comments if that's of interest. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And just a quick one today, but still, happy mapping.